Thanks for joining us tonight at 530. I'm Juan Condi. I'm Deanna Albritton. Small businesses across Central Virginia, as we know, are still recovering from the financial toll of the COVID-19 pandemic. And of course, the downtown downturn isn't over yet. 8 News reporter Sabrina Shutters is in our digital center tonight with more on the recovery and what one Virginia congresswoman has to say all about this. Sabrina? Juan Deanna Hilltop Distillery in Goochland opened at the start of the pandemic in March 2020 and closed down for at least a week when they couldn't do tastings or serve cocktails. Now they're using help from the restaurant revitalization fund to be able to stay open through the rest of this year, getting them into their second year. It was scary. It was uh, disastrous. Uh, for us, especially in the early months. It's no secret what financial toll the pandemic's taken on businesses across Central Virginia. With the closure of businesses, the closure of daycares, the you know, closures of schools, it's it's really put into stark relief um, how how trying it is for so many families. Hilltop Distillery in Goochland was one of those small businesses who had to close for at least a week because they couldn't do tastings or serve cocktails. Sherry Brokenborough owns and runs the distillery with her husband and son. When we opened our doors March 5th, we really had no idea any of this was coming. Now with the state reopening, we're starting to see some some of the bright uh, signs of recovery. Broken Borough tells late news a big reason she could keep her doors open was due to local community support. Goochland County and Powhatan, these folks rallied for us. Barry Hanneberg with the Virginia Distillers Association says Representative Abigail Spanberger's help in making permanent the federal excise tax cut on distilled spirits was a huge help, but the recovery continues. You have the year of of loans you've taken out and uh, kind of personal loans you've taken out to support your businesses and you still need to kind of address those.